Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Next I like to show you that how to remove scratches what we have in this car paint. And now I am talking in these scratches what are in here, these small white scratches. And let's look, take a closer view. And the scratches has been happened so that something has been moved in here and and now this this paint looks bad okay and let's let's look also those scratches a little bit closer and I I take better view that we can check those what I am talking in here in here we can see that there is this one scratch and actually some others in here. And how, how to remove and take these scratches away. And, and, there's, and these scratches are so, so small that I can even feel those scratches a little bit. Okay, and then, then I will show that how we start to take those away. Okay, and, and the scratches are now in this my car's bonnet and this hood in this central area. There is this front area, and in there are those scratches. Okay, okay, and I have I have made in here now very nice process. What we what I am planning to do next. How, my agenda is how to remove scratches car paint and now I am talking these scratches in here just in 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 that area what is behind of this 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 area okay and what I need to do next first step is to impo mo very important that that I need to wash my car this this paint and this body it's the must there can't be any any sand or small particles because then this our job becomes in error status and it is failure okay and next step is that scratch polishing or cutting with special pad and rubbing compound and there I have those materials what we need next I need special special paste and this wrapping compound like this Farekla this is excellent brand and and here I have two Fareklas products this is like in tube this is brand new and it is regular grade paste compound and this is like very sand sanding material it is like liquid but it it sands this car this color and this this shiny area and this where this varekla comes from and when I rotate there is this manufacturer and this come from England and all English products are normally really excellent in this car body care and service and we need first this Varekla material and there is idea that these Varekla products there are those numbers 2 to 10 and this 2 is very effective it is like very hard hard this material and number 10 is very fine and it, it fine means that it takes only a little bit this sanding sanding power and it's like finishing this number 10 and now I don't have this number 10 but I have number 2 G2 and this is like G2 and, and this G3 is almost similar a little bit finer but but like, like regular standard and then 
we need then something else. We need special these special pads. And this is really important because this must be in mattress like and, and also the softness must be really special. And there is excellent company what name is Flexi Pads and Bird Glass. And this is of course made in Great Britain. And this means like England. And there, there we need then different kind of pads. And first pad what I need. I have now here two these Flexi Pads products. And this is, there is also comment that firm polishing, this is like this end job and this is like cutting and this means is that that I use that special pad and with this varekla and these are like together because I need this paste and then very suitable soft sanding this pad because this is must. And this becomes in here and I can do this sanding so that I use my hand and I insert in here this, this my varekla but it is 100 times faster if I have some, some very basic sanding and this sand, sander, electric sander like in that one. That one cost made in China about 20 US dollars and 20 euros. Very cheap, but very suitable. And there is this this uh, tape and actually this harsh material where I can insert this flexi pad. There is different kind of flexi pad that some of these there is duct tape, but this one fits in here so excellently in that way. And then then this is fine and then I need to open that my small bottle and then of course we need protective eyeglasses because this Varegla's product is harmful and it can it, it can it is harmful to our eyes and then let's go look my process and we were in now in this number two and then when I have made that next part is to clean that my sanding area with, with cotton cloth and there is best that when we have white soft soft is must cotton cloth because we need to polish then this all Varegla's materials away and then next part is that we, when this sanding is made and we have used this cotton, cotton cloth, then we need to fax, wax this area. And there is best and very suitable this turtle wax, original wax, what is very useful. And then I wax this area, wax the scratch area behind step 4. And five is then when we have this fax in there. I need again this my cotton cloth that I clean fax away. And then this job is end and we are happy. And thanks. And this was then this my area. And next I start to sand that area. But before of that I open my this varegla's this small small package and we look inside in there next. Okay and here is my this Varegla's package and when we have that kind of flat tool what is sharp in that point it is easy to insert in here and then open this metallic canister and here that material this is this this compound what sands this our paint. And next I need to do so that, that I insert in that clean area in here a little bit that my wax and I use that cotton cloth and, and first step is that, that there is this my liquid 
Parekla. I insert my clothes in here. There is this my sanding liquid. And, and here was this my area. And then I insert that in something like that amount. And all areas where we have this 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 those scratches. And then there is good hint that when we are like fixing this hood, what is in here, a bonnet and hood, it's good to same time when we use this electric sander that we sand all areas in, in this this uh, bonnet and hood because then we we are all areas are shiny because if we only sand in that small area then we have one area what is more shiny than these others and then it looks bad okay but then I will do that by sanding and then we look at how much scratches are left because I think that almost all of those are away Next I start to chant, there is this machine, and then I, 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 take my, I take my protective glasses, these are important, and then we continue when I sand that. Then I do in this like final, this middle, middle time check that I like to check that that how my sanding works and I have cotton cloth and I try to find my those scratches. Okay, and there, there those scratches are in here and in like that these positions. And now I scratch those a little bit more because I, I like those scratch away and I take my farekla and here is this my farekla and a little bit add this more this farekla in that area next. Okay, and here is my farekla and I I insert my cotton cloth in here again a little bit more in there this parekla and then I sand that area again. <laughs> area that number two is okay and then clean the area with cotton cloth okay and then I take my cotton cloth what is in here and then I clean all of these things away in here 
in that area. That was in the way. But then I like police that are. And all and in in that steps it could to even worse this area that we can take those all this sanding materials away and bomb was and then then like in normal car paint was and then next I insert into a little bit water okay and then I have new cotton cloth what is wet there is warm water and then I clean this all reckless carefully and then remember this cotton cloth this must be soft not hard cotton cloth Egyptian cotton is the best Egyptian because it is soft but then I use this my soft material and I carefully and in, in that step be carefully do not press hard that paint because then we can generate more scratches it is easy to look in that area that, that let's check that is there any scratches okay and this was this my area and almost now those scratches are quite mostly now away and then I need to insert, insert this next step what was when I take me my task list clean clean area with cotton cloth number three is okay then we go in process next step wax the scratch area and now I take my turtle, bo turtle box wax in here okay and here is here is my excellent turtle box wax and taken and then I insert this turtle box wax in here in that area what was in here there are there, there were my scratches okay good and then then I start to I use again the same same scratch same cotton cloth and actually, actually now it's good to little bit clean that clean and then I carefully I walk I wax wax this area and that way okay good and in, in that step it's actually good to use new new cotton cloth because this can be a little bit dirty and then then I I wax that little bit more in this circulate rotation. Okay, and then there is a situation that, that I can actually insert a little bit more that my turtle wax. Very not too hard, press like soft polishing. Okay, good. This is fine, and then I need to wait something like ten minutes that this turtle wax wax is dry and then I can do this final polishing and and let's wait 10 minutes that this becomes white and and dry this wax okay and we continue okay and now this this wax turtle wax it has been dried in here about 10 min 10 minutes and it's dry and next is time to polish that using the special flexi pad 
polishing pad. And this is different kind of pad than, than that one what I used in this sanding. Because when I take that away, there is this very thin thin cutting pad is this this one. And now I change these pads and this is like also flexi pad pad but this is different material and then I insert that my pad in there and then I little bit polish that area and this this is also possible to polish using this soft cotton cloth but this sander is 100 times faster faster and speed is power and then I then I sand that area next This, this wax polishing, this was really fast when we have this electric sander. And then we look, this my pro process chart, that where we are, wax to scratch area, turtle wax, that's number four is okay. And then polish to wax area. And now I, I just made that in using that electric polishing pad and then I like to use in a little bit that 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 cotton cloth that I can clean that area in here and then we check those this start point and then this finishing point results okay now I have here this clean soft cotton cloth Now we have situation that we need to find those scratches where they are in there because it's now very difficult and let's let's go to investigate where are those old scratches and I look in different view in here and here in that area I can see in here in here small scratches. They were almost all of those scratches are away. Okay, and this was this my how to remove scratches video and thank you for watching and then remember one thing use only high quality products like this FlexiPad those policing and cutting pads and you could find this in in internet and of course in amazon.com and ebay and the manufacturer is flexi pads and there is this this uh, information and this is really excellent and then also this wax what are you using use only high quality waxes like this turtle wax is the excellent and there is this turtles logo okay and thank you for watching this video and have a nice day to you